What's up, guys? So I did a timeline on Madeline uh, yesterday, and I posted that video, I think, this morning. But this time, the line here has a little bit more detail, not a lot, but a little bit more detail than the other one had. So let me, uh, excuse me, let me read this. November 23rd, the report states this is the last day Madeline was seen. Her mother tells police she went to bed that night at 10 p.m. and her her mother hasn't seen her since. The night, uh, that night, Kojakar, uh, I'm just going to call it C. C and Pemeter argued? I'm assuming the mom and dad argued. I'm, I'm assuming that's what happened. And he left to see family in Michigan and to recover some items. So yes, he left and went to uh, Michigan. Uh, C told police she went into Madeline's room to check on her around 11.30 a.m. and she wasn't there. Ooh. Ooh. See, I didn't... I didn't hear... This wasn't in the first timeline. So it's a possibility the father took the daughter to... Where did they say... Where did she say she was going? To Michigan. C told police she went to Madeline's room. Okay, we already read that. Uh, November 26. C said she waited until Saturday, November 26, to ask P if he knew where Madeline was. P said he did not know and asked her the same question. Okay. Okay, now it's getting a little weird. December 12th at 2 p.m., Bailey Middle School Resource Officer Jay Nevels attempted a home visit with 6th grade school counselor... Attempted a visit with 6th grade school counselor... Denise Lampkin, after Madeline had been absent from school since Monday, November 21st. There was no answer at the door, and a, a truancy packet was left by Miss Lampkins, according to the report. On December 14th, C. calls Lampkin and asks to meet with her in the truancy packet she says she will bring Madeline. So she already knows she's missing by the time she says that. By the time she says that on December 14th, that she's going to bring Maddie with her <coughs> to the school, she already knew she was missing, which makes her look really guilty. Like if you were to read this and that part wasn't there, you would think the dad did it and took the daughter to Michigan. But being the mother said what she said right there makes her look more guilty than the dad now. Even though I think they're both guilty somehow, that makes her look more guilty. But then waiting three or three weeks to say she's missing makes them both look really guilty. But anyways, let, let's go on to December 15th. C arrived at the school without Madeline. The report says she met with uh, Lampkin and Nobles, C reported her daughter missing at this time. I asked Dan Diana, Diana, or Diana, uh, D, why she did not report Madeline missing until now. Nobles, Nobles said in the arrest report, D stated she was worried it might start a conflict between her and Christopher, which is the dad. Uh, P. Uh, Christopher was called to the school to give a statement to detectives. He told detectives he last saw Madeline a week before his trip. He asked D, Deanna, if she had hidden Madeline, and D asked Chris if he had hidden Madeline, and they both said no. According to the report, Chris did not report her missing to the police. At that time, Chris stated he spoke with uh, D several times about uh, Madeline's whereabouts over the next three weeks, and both stated they did not know where she was, but they did not con contact the police to report uh, Madeline's missing. Oh. 
there's there's so much there's so much that makes them all both look so guilty in this and i hope they figure out where this little girl is i don't think this is going to be one of those where it ends good like i just don't think this ends good which is sad because this is a young girl that has a long life ahead of her and it probably is over already uh hopefully i'm wrong and hopefully she just shows up out of the blue somewhere somehow i just don't think that's what we're gonna see happen because the mother and the father are both fucking lying their asses off that's the truth and they're both in jail so We'll see which one, which one breaks first, I guess.